Countdown is actually the only live daily program that we do that broadcasts from inside the studio. Mm -hmm. uh, Teresa Tamio, who's our morning host. Oh, they just said hi, uh, Teresa Tamio broadcasts from 8 to 10 from her house on. Oh, well, they're talking the about me, Detroit. Nick. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. There you go. Oh, thanks a lot, Greg. <laughs> this is our, we have a internet chat board to connect with them. How much do you do here at this end while they're doing their thing? Um, I answer the phones, I start the music, I record, and um, play the commercial breaks, ready to get it ready to go. And there's, we have, this is our digital audio database, and we have all these colored buttons, have um, their music beds that when you come out of the commercial break, you will click one of them and they'll, they'll play music for, to let the... The hosts know that it's time to come back. Okay. And Nick, you said that Al's show is the only one that's done here live? Yes. From, from, from Ann Arbor here? Yes, from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, he's live in this studio right in here, which we can uh, go into shortly. Now, Greg and Lisa are doing their show from home? Yeah, from their home okay. And then from 1 to 2, uh, Dr. Ray Garendi and Colin Kelly Mass do The Doctor Is In. Uh, Ray is in Canton, Ohio, right. and uh, Colleen is in Chicago. So we have ISDN lines currently in all of their off-site locations. And so they look up uh, through the ISDN line. The magic of radio. The magic of radio, yeah. So ISDN, even though internet and all that stuff, ISDN is still the most solid... It's connection yeah. affordably without satellite? Or well, what? it's already in. <laughs> it's yeah. there. It, it's actually not the most uh, cost effective anymore. We have a new box called Comrex Access, and it's a $6,000 piece of equipment, Hi, but it allows you to connect via um, <laughs> Ethernet. I know, I've missed uh, a couple Fridays. Anything high me? speed will work, which is obviously yeah, free. I'm back. And uh, telephone. Yeah. Or a no, cell phone card. The cell phone card has anywhere from a quarter second to you know one second delay, depending on you know time of day and signal strength and all that fun stuff. But speaking uh, of delay, we do have a delay to use so that no one swears on the air. We can start this going and it will stretch what they're saying till six seconds, and then it'll be six seconds behind. So if anything is said that it shouldn't go on the air, we can dump it and um, it'll start over again, stretching that six seconds. Okay, but the listener won't know that that no. happened right. Okay, so well, there not, might it, be a bit of a of a blip, a but bit, it won't. But there's not a noise. It'll it'll won't just be sound six seconds like, of nothing until no, show no, no, picks no, up. No, there won't be a delay like that. It'll it'll come back. It'll just cut the last. It'll cut from six second delay to live. So whatever happened in the last six seconds is just gone, and they're now live instead of six seconds away. Yeah. So you may hear a word chopped off, or you know, a sentence ended. It, it, it sounds to the listener like the host just stopped talking, or the guest just stopped talking. Okay, does the pitch and so on stay the same? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, digital. We went nice magic. probably our first six or seven years without having a delay. Yeah. And then we had a couple uh, vulgar calls and said, okay, I guess it's time we need to get the delay in place. Well, I've been recording this. You want to say hi? I'm looking at Nick right now. Hello, you want to students. say hi to anybody back in Steubenville? Fellow Franciscan students, I'm a 2001 graduate of uh, the amazing Professor Coyle. <laughs> Now he's Dr. Coyle. He that's, wasn't that's Dr. Correct. Coyle when we were there. You're right. Was Professor Coyle. Yeah, it wasn't. It was, in the process. it was a very long process. Yep. I'm Kara Coulter, now Kara Cardella, and I'm also a 2001 graduate using my major here at Avi Maria Radio, and I've been as well prepared at Franciscan, so I hope all you come students are really taking advantage of the opportunities you have there. Uh, 
Say hi to Andy Bonjour, the videographer. No, he wasn't friend. there when you were there. No, he's no. friends of ours from here, from, here. from Ann Arbor. Right, he and his wife, Jody, are good friends of ours. So. So come put your degree to work at Ave Maria Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Many Steubenville grads and Steubenville friendly. Yep. Good place. Need more, more of us in Ann Arbor. Yes, well, this the name of the